ready to open the hood, use tool for the tutorials, and for car parts, the right idea is the Mr. Auto app. Easy, fast, and with better prices than on the website. You will find the TRW Tyra lens used in the video through the link in the description. Turn your engine off and pull up the handbrake. Loosen the stud bolts on the front wheels. Lift the front of the vehicle. We strongly suggest watching the tutorial, raising your vehicle safely before carrying out this step. Place the vehicle on the axle stands. To change the tie rod end on your vehicle, you'll need to remove the wheels to gain full access to the steering system. Don't forget to slide the wheels under the vehicle. You can now see the outer tie rod end. Using a flatted screwdriver, release the holding key on the castellated nut. As the components to be removed are very often seized up, don't hesitate to brush and to use penetrating oil to facilitate the operation. With a marker, trace a line between the axle joint and the tie rod end. It will help later during the disassembly and reassembly process. Using a 19mm spanner, release the tie rod end lug nut on the inner tie rod side. Hold the tie rod axle joint with a 13 spanner to prevent it from turning. The lug nut is there to prevent any rotation of the two parts towards each other, which could have an impact on the alignment of your vehicle. Next, remove the pin using a screwdriver. Using a 17mm spanner, release the holding lug nut on the tie rod end. If you don't have a ball joint puller, take a hammer and hit the lug nut hard just at the end of the threading. The ball joint should move away from the pivot. Only tap on the tie rod end pivot if you're changing the tie rod end, otherwise you risk damaging the threading. Paying close attention to the point of reference, unscrew the tie rod end counting the number of turns necessary to extract the tie rod end. This will allow you to find an approximate setting when reassembling. For greater accuracy, we advise you to measure the distance between the lock nut and the end of the tie rod ball joint using a caliper. In any case, an alignment check will have to be carried out by a professional soon after having performed this operation. Remove the lock nut from the axle joint. All parts used in this tutorial are supplied by our trusted partners. These partners also help us create as many video tutorials as possible. Check them out in the description below. You will find the TRW parts and products used in the video in the link in the description. Take the new tie rod end. Unscrew the castellated nut supplied with it. Remove the plastic protection. Screw the lug nut back on until the distance measured with the caliper is reached. Put the tie rod end back in place, making the same number of turns as counted during disassembly. During this operation, you will work on the steering system of your vehicle. Checks and tire alignment, when carried out by a professional, will guarantee that your steering system has been perfectly aligned and is in good working order. Using a wire brush, scrub the pivot then apply silicone grease to the flat part that will be in contact with the tie rod bellows. Do not grease the inside of the cone. Replace the bolt joint in the pivot. Reinstall the nut supplied with the new part and tighten it using a 19mm spanner. Finish off the tightening with a torque wrench. Take the new key and put it in place within the castellated nut. Bend the pin using a screwdriver. Finish tightening the lock nut by holding the tie rod end with a 19mm spanner to avoid damaging it. 
Now you can put the wheels back on your vehicle. Put your vehicle back on the ground and fix the wheels in place properly. Operation completed. Hi, it's Theo from Tool. I hope this video has helped you a lot in your car maintenance. We would be super grateful if you could spread the word so that we can produce even more tutorials. Simply give us a like, a comment and hit that subscribe button. It really helps us boost the channel and help the whole community. Thanks a lot and have a great one.